Hello and welcome to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I have been very excited about playing this game. This game is by The Astronauts, which is possibly one of the better names for any independent studio out there. Take note. It's basically, from what I understand, an extremely beautiful looking detective game with a bit of a... What's it even called? Paranormal? Is that... Or is that... Is that that animated film? I'm not even sure. Basically, probably ghosts and stuff. But we will find out. I have never played this. Uh, I was very, very, very tempted to watch some gameplay, but I couldn't bring myself to do it because I just, I, I'm excited. I'm just really excited for the story. Okay, this game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Right, yeah, to my understanding, there's a lot of, there's a lot of exploring. Ethan Carter, I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay, so I am in control. So I'm guessing we are Paul Prospero. I'm guessing that's, that's us. But seriously, just look at this thing. This is just beautiful, for lack of any other word. And this isn't probably even running at full whack. So, that's... I don't know. Um, we're, we're, running, we're running okay on frames as well, which is always nice. <laughs> I say that as soon as I get a frame drop. Alright, well, let's get on with this game then. Okay, I've got a shift key to sprint. Um, I can deal with this. Oh, what's... Th oh, that's a leaf. Okay, leaf. Should I be looking for things, or should I just continue walking? Now, it did say it wasn't going to hold my hand at all, which is more than okay with me. I'm, I'm more than okay with uh, exploring and adventuring. That's kind of what I like to do in games, but um, I am curious as to whether I should be looking for stuff around, or should I... There's two paths. This one doesn't look safe. Let's go this way. Let's see what's down here. There's some rocks. Oh, wow, look at that. That is something. I am getting kind of annoyed at these frame drops. They don't they only seem to be when I'm rendering in newer stuff, but look at that. Find me a game anywhere that looks this good. So well priced on Steam as well. I I, I haven't even got to the story and I'd recommend just walking around this place. Let's see then. Is this where we would have gone if we had taken the other path? Yes. Oh, there's another path. Let's have a quick look before we keep going on, just in case there might be a thing, um, and you never really know. If there is a thing, then maybe that thing might be relevant to another thing, which, in turn, may mean something. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to sprint a little bit, because why not? There's a lot of rocks here. Okay, I don't want to go down there. Is this an open world game? Because I, I was, I didn't realize it was. I wasn't under the impression that it was. I guess we should just keep going this way. I think that's probably going to be the safest bet. This is actually kind of creepy as well. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> it's um, yeah, a little bit uh, a little bit creepy. So let's keep going, especially if there's a ghost. Right, what's this? Bridge closed. Do not enter. Right. Let's end. Oh, get out of my face, leaf. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 seconds in, and I've already been scared by a leaf. Okay, I'm gonna walk around that. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Red Don't even worry about Valley. it. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life no place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that, warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Okay, so this narrative is kind of told in a 
in a past tense, which is kind of cool. I can deal with that. That sounds kind of cool. It's kind of like um, I'm watching a film of stuff that's already happened, but we get to play it out. Now, this must be the bad thing that happened. Uh, I'm guessing this is what we're here to explore. Or investigate, should I say. Uh, I'm assuming that's what we do from my understanding of the gameplay. But uh, I guess we'll kind of figure this out. There is a train truck thing. Should I be looking? There's not really much to see. I mean, it's quite obvious something bad happened. I'm going to guess somebody crashed. Um, so let's go and speak to this train. Speak to this train? Let's go see what this train has to say. Why do, Why am I even... Let's go and visit this train. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. Okay. Oh, enter. How do I... How do I interact? Oh, oh I can crouch. Cool. And... Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Controls. Settings. Here we go. Run, crouch, zoom, interact, left mouse button. That's what I pressed. That's what I pressed, game. Oh, right, 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 right. I wasn't close enough. All right, that's fine. That's my fault then. Right. Okay, we can turn this thing off or we can move forward and back. Let's go forward. Okay, let's go back. Okay, well, let's turn it off. Okay. Well, I'm guessing this thing doesn't work anymore, which would make sense. It doesn't look like it's in the best condition, but quite honestly, I don't even know how old this thing is. Is this... It looks pretty old. I mean, what was it? It was carrying some logs for some guys. Do I continue down the train track? That's the question. Um, I'll be honest, it looks scary down there, and I don't want to go down there. <laughs> Let's go down there. Probably. It's going to be fine. Let's have a little look. What's these crossings about? That looks broken. That's a bad thing, right? I don't want to go. <laughs> it looks scary. It's a really nice atmosphere, but it's too, it's too quiet. It's like the guy said, nothing's ever quiet. Nothing's ever quiet. And now I'm scared something's going to happen. What's that? That's a rock. Nope. That's a thing. What is it? Inspect. Okay, what is it? Cut ties. Untied, tied. No blood. Right, I see. Rope. Yep, I would agree that this is probably rope. So it looks like something or someone was tied here, and then it was cut. Now the rope comes over here, but I'm not sure if that's... What's the... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, that, that, that kind of explains some stuff then, inspect. Uh, rest of the corpse. Good question. That is... I'm not even sure what part that is. Possibly a leg. Dragged away, crawled away. Um, so yeah, they're so they are severed legs. I guess technically they could have crawled away, but um, I'm not convinced they'd be in much position to do so. But I could be wrong, of course. Ah, nope, I was wrong. It looks like they they were. Has he got a head? Okay, that's always good. Yeah, where's all the rest of the blood from? Fractured skull. Okay, I see. Cause of death. Right, so. His legs were cut off by a train, and there was some blood loss with that, which is something, but then the rest of the blood around him doesn't make much sense, because I guess he is on a hill, so maybe it would go down, but it looks like he was beaten with... He said it said he had a skull fracture, so it looks like he was beaten afterwards. Touch. Not yet. Okay. Well, I'm happy to, um... Really disturb by third party. Oh, wait, what's, what's this? What do I do when I'm like this? Do I just keep holding it? Okay, well, I'm very confused on that, so I'm going to keep looking around. I don't think that's going to help me much. Uh, there might be something further down. Possibly a weapon or something that he was killed with. Nice tree. Um, very possibly. Possibly the person that did it. Aha! Uh -huh. No. I thought maybe we'd be followed. What's that? That looks very red. Inspect. Aha! Uh -huh. Gasoline or diesel. Possibly. One of the two. Dropped carelessly in a rush or on purpose? Um, hmm. Good question. So this guy, let's let's think about what we know then. This guy, I'm guessing he was tied up over here uh, on this rope. I think that one's almost a given. He was tied. Something cut the ropes. Now, uh, that, I don't think that's going to have been the train because that would have killed him there and then, surely, if that had have run him over. So I'm guessing that he or somebody else cut the ropes and he made his way down here. 
Ah, but why wouldn't he have got... Maybe he was already injured. Okay, so he was there. He was already beaten and left for dead. Somebody cut him off, and he came down here trying to get off the tracks because the train was coming, and then he got run over here. He's cut his legs off, and he's, he's made his way over here, and eventually he's bled out and died. That's going to be my guess then. What's this? What's this? Under construction. Hmm... So let's go have another look at this. We can inspect, uh, inspect the rails as well, it looks like. So we can see what's going on here. Dried grass. No sun. Hmm. Right. Rectangle shape. So something's been covering this. Rail car from the bridge. Rail car, rail car, rail car, rail car, rail car, rail car. I can't say that fast. Stop it. Get out of my face. <laughs> oh, are you suggesting I go to the rail car? Wait, what? Why did it say I could do something? Oh! What's going on? Oh, wow! So if we get it at the right point, I can have a look. What am I looking at, though? Is this showing me it right now? From somewhere else? Ah, I see, and we're looking for hints. That looks like a blood splatter on the right. Aha! I see. So, it looks like the reason he's missing legs is because of this rail car. Now, I'm wondering why it was stationed there for so long. If that was dried out, I thought maybe the gasoline was there to burn it. Possibly this was abandoned and left there for a while. I think I have to go over there and actually look at it. I don't think this is going to give me anything. So, let's let go of that. So... Possibly this was abandoned and left there for a while. Now, the guy who was planning on doing this came down here with his gasoline to, uh, well, run this guy over. Tied him to the track. Something went wrong somewhere. Um, and the rest we'll figure out as we go, I guess. Let's go and have another look then because it looked like... And I want to enter because I saw... Crankshaft. No, I was looking at this big blood splatter, actually, but that's fine. Fresh scratches recently used. Crank. Right, so I'm guessing it needs a crank. Hold. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that one again. I've got, I think I've got to click it just at the right point, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, and that shows you where the crank is. So where is that? It's in a pile of rocks down by the water. Okay. So that's the... Ah, so it's going to be down here then, because that's the bridge that you can see. So it must be down there. Let's try and get ourselves down there and see what we can find. Uh, I don't think we can just run down here, can we? No. So it must be following this path then. I'm guessing there's going to be a turning off. Is this it? Nope. Um, oh, I wonder if it's down where we went through before, just here. I wonder if this is the answer. What's that? No, oh, it's just a post. Yeah, I'm guessing it's down this way. This must be... So he must have been hit with a crank. That's got to be the weapon then. So that's what I didn't find. Uh-huh. I should have kept going down here because there was eventually some stuff I would have found. I wonder, though, whether I would have been able to interact with it or realize what it was without um, seeing all the stuff before this that we've just seen. Uh, the vision of the actual uh, place itself, the little the, the, the cart thing, the rail car. I wonder if we needed to find that, but it's got to be just down here. Surely it is. This definitely looks like the area because look, we've got the view of the the, the bridge thing. And so, pole, crank, where are you at? Aha, there it is. Okay, let's go pick this thing up. Let's see, inspect. I'm going to crouch. Okay, ah, I see, I can rotate. I can zoom and I can take it. So I can have a look at this. Now there's a lot of blood on the end, so I think this is obviously the murder weapon. I think that one's going to be a given. Uh, let's take it and let's see if I can use it uh, on the rail car to get the rail car started again. Moving that might help me in some way. I'm not too sure how yet. But maybe turning the engine on will help us out. We'll be able to see whether it was recently fueled or something maybe like that. I don't know whether that's going to help us, but maybe it might. We'll figure this one out. We're going to solve this mystery guy. You, we're going to find your murderer. Everything's probably going to be okay. Um, well, not really. I mean, you are dead, but it's oh, it's not. Oh, sorry, don't don't worry about it. I'm going to solve this mystery though because I am the detective man. Let's do this right. Crank needs to go onto the front of this rail car, 
and then we can see what we can do with it. I mean, speaking in the terms of games, I'd imagine it would uh, unlock something, but in the terms of being a detective, I'm not really sure what we can get from it. So let's have a look. Crank. Fix. Oh, I don't like that noise. Spin crank. I'm scared. Not gonna lie. Okay, it's on. Okay, we did it. We turned it on. Let's get in. So now we can move it, but do we want to go forwards or backwards? There's not really a lot forwards, is there? So I guess we want to reverse this thing. Uh, maybe we can see where it came from. Maybe. Not sure. I think this has got to be how the ropes were cut. Some weird things on that tree. Rail car. I guess I can just piece the puzzle back together. This is where it was, right? I really don't like those noises. Please stop. So this must be where it was. I think. Yeah. So do we want to keep going? No, because this is the end. Okay, so it... It was abandoned then. We can um, we can be fairly sure of that. Are these signs any good? What's that? Rock divot, fresh dirt. Right, so rocks missing. <laughs> I guess somebody's stolen a rock. So uh, let's find out where that rock is. Let's try and get this on time. Get together, crazy words. Do I have to... Ah, I think I have to look in the direction of it. Okay, that's cool. So it's next to a tree stump. And where is the tree stump? Right, I see. Literally in front of me then. Just past uh, just past here. Near the rail car. So let's find this little rock that's missing and see if it's relevant at all. It's got to be here. I don't like the sound of that engine. Inspect. Alright. Looks a lot just like a... Ah. Nah, I see. There is some blood. Let's take it with us. I don't think we need to zoom in on that. Let's go and place this back at the scene. I think that's what we're doing here. I think we're piecing together this puzzle, which is a hell of a lot of fun, actually, I'm going to be honest. Uh, fix. Aha. Oh, that noise is terrifying. <laughs> Please stop. Um, all right. So, let's go look at this canister again, because maybe this canister is relevant now. Now that this truck's here. No, still not. We can still enter and do stuff with this uh, ca uh, car, though, but I'm not sure if we need to. Let's look at the legs. Do we need to put the legs back on the body? No. Oh, we could touch the body, though, and it, it was saying we weren't ready yet, but maybe we are now. Aha! Okay, what's this? Oh, this must be a soul. Or something similar. Speak, Leafs. Or little lights? What are you? What are you doing? Who are you? Oh, I can move. Right. I don't know why it took me so long to say, oh, I can move. What's this? Oh, hi! Okay. Oh, so these must be scenes. I see these. Oh, there's two of them. That's a kid. Oh, no. Child, what have you done? So if we go to all these places then, with stuff that we found, we can actually see parts of what happened. Okay, well let's head this way then, because maybe we can see some more stuff over here where the kale car ended. Maybe that will give us a bit of, um... No! No, 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 no! Oh, that's not what I wanted. Back to ghost mode! Alright, so we don't want to go too far that way then. We've got these people here. Is there more stuff down here? Possibly, yes, because they dropped the crank. But I've got to be really careful that we don't go out of ghost mode again. That's not what I want to happen. I love this game already. This is so much fun. Uh, let's see. How far can we go before we lose ghost power? I mean, we shouldn't, because we we found the crank down here, and that's relevant, right? Although there's no light, so I'm going to say no. Um, somebody's going to shout at me if I'm wrong, though, but I'm going to say it isn't relevant simply because there's not one of those cool lights. It seems like those cool lights show me where everything is. 
um, which is fine by me, I guess. <laughs> but there was some off in this direction, so let's go have a look at those. Uh, yeah, we've already seen that. There's one over here, which is the rock. So what is the rock? Chronologically, chronologically... I give up. Tag, right. What does that mean? One. Aha! So I can tag each one of these... Okay, I get this, I get this. Okay, so we've got to tag each one of these little things to see which one came first and get an order of events going, and that way, we'll know the truth. Well, I'll tell you what. I am going to call it there for this episode, but I will say, I am so ready to play a bit more of this. This game is a hell of a lot of fun. It is available on Steam and probably a bunch of other stores, I believe. it. I know it's PC, but I think it might be available on the PS4. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, but there will be links in the description to get hold of this game in every place I can find it, as well as websites, wikis, anything else you need. I really do suggest you go and get this, because I am, what, 20 minutes in? And I love this game already, so I definitely... Uh, one of my recommendations already. If you have enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and drop me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what I've missed, because I doubt I doubt I found everything. And let me know if you're excited as I am for this series. If you do want to see some more of this, do go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. No, see you next time.